Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the amazing world around you, with fun and educational facts and worksheets. In today's episode, we're going to learn about a deadly 14th century disease that swept across Europe, and parts of Asia, and Africa. It left millions dead in its wake. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's the Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague, one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. Here's a question to think about while you watch. Why do you think the Black Death is called Black? Watch until the end for the answer. Let's start with when the plague was said to have arrived in Europe, in October 1347, when 12 ships docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. Witnesses reported that most sailors inside the vessels were dead, and those barely alive were covered in black boils discharging blood and pus. The authorities ordered the ships to undock from the harbor. But it was too late. The symptoms of the disease were horrifying, with victims experiencing fever, chills, and unbearable pain. The most visible symptom was the appearance of buboes, or swollen lymph nodes, which turned black and oozed pus. Records described bubonic plague as terrifyingly and indiscriminately contagious. People thought that merely touching clothes could cause the transfer of infection. They were so afraid that some chose to leave their loved ones suffering from the illness while others burned infected clothes to try and escape the Black Death. As the disease spread, panic and chaos swept across Europe. Whole towns and villages were wiped out, and the death toll reached millions. Physicians, apothecaries, and barber surgeons were baffled by the disease, and had no idea how to treat it. So instead, they relied on unique treatments, such as bloodletting, and boil lancing, both of which were unsanitary, and dangerous. Superstitious practices, like burning aromatic herbs, and bathing with rose water and vinegar, were also used. Some people believed it was a punishment from God, because of their sins, such as blasphemy, fornication, greed, and worldliness. Therefore, they thought they needed to ask for forgiveness, such as public displays of penance, and flogging. People who beat themselves were called flagellants, and they would punish themselves in front of the townspeople. They did this for 33 and a half days, and would then move to another town to repeat it. Tragically, some people thought that the only way to receive God's forgiveness, was to purge their communities of those they believed were heretics, and troublemakers. The result was the massacre of Jews in 1348 and 1349. Nobody knew what kind of disease they were experiencing during the Black Death. Only in the 19th century did a Swiss-French biologist, Alexander Yersan, discover the cause. It was a bacterium, called Yersinia pestis, which had caused a plague outbreak in Hong Kong in 1894. Yersan also proved that rodents carry the same bacillus, and suggested that rats, immune to the bacteria, were the main culprit of its transmission. The origin of the disease was the subject of many debates. The first theory, by a team of medical geneticists, led by Mark Ackman, suggested that Yersinia pestis evolved in, or near China, over 2,600 years ago. But more recent research discovered strains of the bacterium in the Caucasus region. The plague never really ended, as it repeatedly occurred throughout the years. But authorities managed to slow the spread, by keeping people arriving on ships in isolation. At first, this was for 30 days, or a Trentino. It was increased to 40 days, or quarantine, from the Italian term quaranta giorni. They did the same to households and communities. Although isolation was already practiced before the Black Death, it was during this event that it was given a name. The Black Death profoundly impacted European society, and its effects were felt for generations. It led to a breakdown in the social order, as people turned on each other in fear and desperation. It also triggered widespread economic disruption, as the workforce and trade routes were devastated. But the Black Death also had unexpected consequences. It paved the way for new economic and social systems, and led to a rethinking of traditional religious beliefs. It also sparked advances in medicine and public health as scientists looked to understand the disease and prevent its spread. The Black Death was a tragic chapter in human history, but it also taught us the importance of resilience and adaptation in a crisis. As we face new challenges in the centuries that followed, like smallpox, Spanish flu, and COVID-19, we can draw inspiration from the survivors of the Black Death, who found hope and strength in the darkest of times. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. The Black Death was called Black because most people who died of the bubonic plague developed gangrene, which would turn the skin black. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun worksheets on many more health, history, and science topics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. 
See you in the next video.